What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we will be debunking the top three myths about hormones and weight loss. So let's get started. Understanding how hormones impact fat storage, metabolism, as well as cravings is the key to achieving lasting results. And this can be extremely frustrating if you don't know how all of these elements are interconnected. And we are going to start by debunking these common weight loss myths when it comes to hormones. We are also going to get into actionable meal planning tips to help regulate your hormones. But without further ado, we're going to start with the first myth, and that is calorie counting is the key to weight loss. If I had a nickel for every time somebody told me that weight loss is all about calories in, calories out, I would be a bajillionaire. The key here is we need to understand that while this approach may work excellent in the short term, it doesn't account for the complex hormonal signals that regulate appetite, metabolism, as well as fat storage. The hormonal truth is if we first look at the hormone insulin. Insulin is the hormone that controls your blood sugar levels. It also controls fat storage. So insulin is a fat storing hormone, but it is also a muscle building hormone. And one of the biggest challenges that people get wrong with insulin is that when it's elevated, whether due to high carb foods, constant snacking, even if your body is consuming fewer calories than you typically do, higher insulin levels are going to hinder weight loss. The next hormonal truth is you wanna understand is cortisol. Cortisol is the stress hormone which can increase fat storage, particularly in the belly, and chronic stress or irregular sleep patterns can cause cortisol spikes, making it even harder to burn at even in a caloric deficit. Last but not least is we're going to talk about the thyroid hormones where specifically low thyroid function. The thyroid is a hormone that is released by a gland that is right here. It regulates the metabolism of the body. So when your thyroid hormones are compromised, your metabolism is going to be compromised. It's like the check engine light for your entire body. It's going to be difficult for people with a sluggish thyroid to lose weight regardless of how many calories they are consuming. So what I'm saying here, it's not that we don't need to manage a caloric deficit, you do. However, you also need to focus on an effective management approach for managing insulin levels reducing stress, as well as optimizing thyroid function. And this can be done through nutrition, this can be done through balanced meals that are going to help stabilize that blood sugar, as well as reduce your cortisol. In this case, you want a meal planning solution that is going to reduce your insulin levels, manage the thyroid, as well as regulate cortisol. And this is going to be done nutritionally by increasing dietary protein, increasing dietary fat, and increasing fiber protein, fiber, fat, that is a really good recipe for healthy, nutritious meals that are going to help regulate these hormones and help you lose stubborn hormonal belly fat. So a great breakfast would be a smoothie that is based off of protein. I love the Gage Life Nutrition Supplements um, protein powders, incorporating with chia seeds, spinach, nut butter, and some low sugar fruit. Now a great idea for lunch, if this is you, is grilled salmon. You could incorporate quinoa. You can also do broccoli and anything in the cruciferous vegetable family, as well as a side of avocado that's going to be really great, specifically because the omega-3 fatty acids from the salmon, as well as the avocado, they are going to reduce inflammation as well as cortisol, while something like quinoa is going to provide some complex carbs that aren't necessarily going to spike your insulin. So with hormone health, you don't necessarily need to be low carb like keto low carb. However, it is going to depend on the nature of your hormone imbalance. And if you are not sure what you should be doing, I do encourage you guys to book a complimentary discovery call where you can chat with me one-on-one -on -one via phone or Zoom, and we can discuss what would make the most sense for you. Last but not least, a dinner would be a veggie rich stir fry, the protein of your choice with mixed vegetables, a side of wild rice, and incorporating healthy fats. Now, please note that I'm not telling you guys to stay away from carbs completely, but this combination of lean protein, fiber-rich veggies, as well as a little bit of carbohydrates, this is excellent for stabilizing blood sugar levels and improving thyroid health. So the next myth that we are going to get into is that fat makes you fat. 
For decades, we have been in this low fat is good, high fat is bad narrative here in the United States, and that cannot be anything further from the truth, as we now know that those initial studies that were published do not have the correlation that we once thought they had because of the nature of how the studies and the data was presented. The hormonal truth is that fat is good for you. Dietary fat is excellent for managing your estrogen levels, your leptin levels, along with testosterone levels. A lack of dietary fats can actually exacerbate hormone imbalances in women. And I see this early, I see this often. Particularly, I want you guys to focus on omega-3 fatty acids and monounsaturated fats because these are going to support hormone production, including estrogen. So both estrogen dominance and deficiency can disrupt fat metabolism and lead to weight gain, especially in that stubborn lower abdominal region. A lack of healthy, healthy fats is not going to negatively impact that. So you want to make sure that you are getting at least a bare minimum of 35% fat from your diet, but I have people who do well going up to 50%, even as high as 75%. The next thing you wanna understand is leptin. So leptin is the hormone responsible for regulating appetite and fat storage, and consuming healthy fats is going to help maintain that leptin sensitivity, which in turn supports a healthy metabolism. Last but not least, testosterone. So for both women and men, testosterone is very important important because it does play a role in building lean muscle tissue as well as burning fat. If you go too low in dietary fat, it can lead to a drop in testosterone, making it even harder to maintain lean muscle mass and burn stored body fat. So how do you address this? The meal planning solution to this dilemma is the fact that healthy fats are important for hormone balance. You want to be careful on the type of fats that you use because not all fats are created equal and I can do a whole video series on that. But let's start with breakfast. So breakfast, we're talking scrambled eggs and I'm talking the whole egg with the yolk with some spinach, maybe some avocado. You can do an avocado toast on the side. The eggs and the avocado are both going to be excellent sources of healthy fat. To take it to the next level, you can even sprinkle a little bit of hemp seeds on it, which is just going to do amazing things for your body. Now lunch. Lunch would be something like some chicken breast, some chicken thighs. You can do a side of some roasted sweet potatoes, a mixed green salad topped with olive oil. And the thing is these healthy fats from the olive oil are going to help to balance estrogen and support fat metabolism. Now, sweet potatoes may not work well for everyone because they might be a little bit too high in carbohydrates, but you could always do cauliflower, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, maybe some butternut squash, or things in that realm that can help you out. Last but not least, dinner. I do recommend a fatty fish. One that I also like is mackerel. That's a really good fatty fish. And that's really nice with some sauteed kale as well as quinoa. And this is a fish that is rich in omega-3 fatty acids that will reduce inflammation and support hormonal balance. Myth number three is that carbs are the enemy of weight loss, and this is not true. If you are not sure how your body responds to carbohydrates, you definitely wanna pick up my book, Unlock Your Macro Type, because we consider your carb tolerance as a factor when it comes to dialing in your macros and figuring out the correct amount of carbs for you. And if there's a hormone imbalance in addition to this, we really need to fine tune that number. And I have a lot of math and equations that can do that. And if you don't wanna do that math for yourself, give me a call, set up your complimentary discovery call, and we can get you set up on the most appropriate approach for you. So carbs will impact insulin sensitivity. So we definitely want to stay away from the refined stuff, the white rice, the breads, the refined sugars, the candies, the cookies. We all know that, right? However, you want to focus more on complex carbohydrates from whole grains, from vegetables, from legumes. And these are going to support improved insulin sensitivity because it slows the rate of gastric emptying. It doesn't allow for your body to have very sharp blood sugar spikes, and it's going to allow your body to burn fat more effectively. Now, when it comes to thyroid function, this I know to be true in working with women with thyroid issues for a very long time. I really started specializing in it around 2015, 2016, but carbohydrates, they are essential 
for healthy thyroid function. And it's very rare that if you have a thyroid issue that you need to be on a very low carbohydrate plan. In fact, you actually need carbohydrates to help regulate your thyroid. So too few carbs can actually lower your metabolism. And I talk about this in my book as well. There's a whole section on how carbohydrates and thyroid go together. So if that's you, please pick up that book so you can learn more about it. If your metabolism drops, what's going to happen? It's going to reduce your thyroid hormone production and then it's going to lead to fatigue, which is going to lead to difficulty losing weight. So we gotta get that number dialed in correctly to the right amount. Now, last but not least, leptin and ghrelin. So these two hormones regulate hunger. Now, low carb diets, they can lead to imbalances in your leptin and ghrelin levels. So increasing your hunger, increasing your cravings, and that's going to sabotage your weight loss efforts. So you don't want to go too, too low for too, too long. Carbohydrates from whole foods are an important part of a balanced diet. They support healthy hormonal function. And the key really is to focus on the right types of carbs, especially with a low glycemic index. And I explain all of this in more detail in my book. So a meal planning solution for this, breakfast can be oats, chia seeds, walnuts, a drizzle of honey. Oats are a complex carb. However, if that is too high for you, you can also do a hemp seed overnight oats, which is going to be higher in fat, protein, and fiber, and lower in carbohydrates. The next one for lunch, you could do a lentil salad with cucumbers, tomatoes, a lemon tahini dressing. Lentils are rich in complex carbs and fiber, which will help manage insulin levels and curb hunger. Last but not least, dinner would be some grilled chicken, some roasted vegetables. Really think about the cruciferous vegetable family because that's really good for you. Carrots, Brussels sprouts, zucchini, perhaps a side of brown rice, and that provides a complex carb that won't spike insulin and it's going to help balance your hunger hormones. So we have to remember that hormones are powerful regulators of fat storage, metabolism, as well as cravings. It's not just about the calories. It's about the quality of those calories and how you are distributing those calories between your protein, carbohydrates, fat, and fiber, because those ratios are going to make a tremendous difference. So if you are struggling with stubborn hormonal belly fat, and it is not going away, and you've done the caloric deficit thing, but you're still stuck, I encourage you, contact me. Let's set up a discovery call and let's dig deep and really figure out the right levels and ratios for you. You can do this on your own if you are on a budget and you're not able to do coaching or purchase a meal plan at this point. You can purchase the book and figure it out for yourself, but please take me up on this free call, you guys, because I have limited spots available, but they are there for you to use. So I just want to thank you guys for your time and attention today. Please comment below any questions or concerns you may have. And if you want more information about how to properly balance your hormones, I do have an incredible hormone reset protocol that you guys can check out on gagegirltraining.com. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.